Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but just like the title says, today in this video, we're testing out some body armor with a 303 British. Here's one of those right there. And two different types of Mosin rounds. So let me show you exactly what I got. No matter where I go and where I bought ammo from, every 303 British I've ever found to buy has always been the lead tip. So somebody's probably going to say, you should have used the full metal jacket 303 British. Well, I'm pretty sure you have to hand load it or something to get your hands on one because I can't find it anywhere. Then for the Mosin, I've got these two, a lead tip and then a uh, full metal jacket pointy tip there. So big shout out to Heavy Metal. Big thanks for hooking us up with this bullet. I didn't have any and he gave me one. Go check out his channel. Also, this 303 British was sent in to us. This is some old Remington Core Lock stuff. This stuff was sent in to us by some of our friends. They actually have a website, and let me show you about their website quick. I always appreciate it when people help us out. Appreciate it when you guys help out the people that help us out. Let me tell you a little bit about their website. A big, big thanks goes to Bad Dobby's Pet Store, friends of ours, for helping sponsor today's video. They've got American-made quality treats for your furry friends. They've got all kind of toys, collars, anything you could think of for your pet. They're going to have it. Go check out their website. Tell them who Who sent you. Appreciate y'all supporting the people, the good folks that help to support us. Y'all go check out BadDobbiesPetStore.com. But that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go set this up out on the range. And we're going to fling some bullets at it. This uh, this stuff right here is actually from RTS. And this is level 3. And this stuff is actually pretty impressive. I've got two level 4 plates back here. I've done some uh, other videos. This is some black magic slugs that this stuff stopped. And then this one actually stopped 223, 57. 22-250, impressive. 22-250 is ridiculous. But this one is a different style. This is more of the hard plate. And it's a level 3. And before I forget, uh, actually, I, I always forget what these levels mean. So let me pull up the Google machine and tell you what the level 3 is supposed to stop. Alright, so the Googles say... This uh, level 3 conditioned armor is tested against 762... FMJ M80 military, that's a, a 308, weighing 147 grain and a muzzle velocity of 2780. Level 3 will stop the majority of all 556 and 762 bullets, but will not defeat military grade armor piercing ammo. So, uh, this is supposed to stop most 556 and 762. Well, we're not shooting those today, we're shooting 303 British and Mosin rounds. So, I don't know. You guys comment down below. Uh, I kind of would like to put some holes in this. Um, let's see what happens. I'm going to set this up on the range, and then we're going to hit it with the 303 British first. See what happens. Should be pretty cool. All right, so let me show you what we're working with here. I've got that armor set up out here on the range. Might look kind of ghetto, but uh, that's how we do things around here. We've got some sticks holding this baby up so it doesn't fly back when we hit it. And we're going to put us a camera back here behind it. And you'll be able to see if we make any holes in this thing. Comment down below, are you Team 303 British or Team Mosin? I'm kind of hoping they all blow through. But seeing as that uh, RTS armor has stopped everything that it wasn't supposed to before, uh, I th kind of think it's going to still stop everything. But I'll see what happens, load everything up. I almost forgot to show you what we're working with. So right here... This is my Mosin. Give you a little bit closer up look at this baby. And what are the markings on this thing? 1943. Uh, yeah. M9130 762 by 54R. That's my Mosin there. And this is my 303 British gotta love both of these things and the markings on this one I'll show you where that 
This one says number one MK3. There's a year stamp on here somewhere. I forget where it was. Maybe you guys already saw it. Uh, this one's from like 1913 or something. I forget where it is now that I'm trying to find it. But either which way, both of them's really old. And that's what we're gonna fling these boogies at. But there's our little uh, body armor there. Let's see if we can put some holes in it. All right, Paul, man, you had me about to lose my mind. I was sitting here thinking my Mosin's broke. But that, uh, that full metal jacket you gave me, man, that's not a Mosin round. I was like, man, this thing won't feed. But the, uh, I'm thinking this might be a 7.62x51, not a 54R. But either which way, uh, we don't have a full metal jacket for either of these. That was my original plan. But let's go fling the 303 British first, and then... The Mosin round, both of these, those lead tippers, see what happens. All right, here we go with my 303 first. Paul, man, you got me cracking up. I thought I was losing my mind. All right. Yeah, remember this one having some kind of problems with the mag or something. There we go. We could. Uh, weak mag spring or something. Uh, let's hit that plate here and see what happens. I think I can hit it. I was sitting there thinking, daggum, is there a safety on here or something? That trigger's just heavy as bananas compared to the rifles I normally shoot. I see we hit it, but I can't see the back from over here. Y'all probably did. Somebody comment, did that go through or not, and let me know. Let's try to Mosin. Yeah, buddy. Mosin. Watch me hit the exact same spot. Ooh. That one, uh, you guys be the judge, but the Mosin messed up our little rig there. Does the Mosin have more power than the 303? I don't know. But... Woo. Let's go check out that armor, see what happens. So, walking up to it, like you guys saw, that Mosin shot kind of took it out of our rig here, but if you look at the front, I don't really know what happened. Did we hit it there and there, or did we hit it there and then there? I have no idea, but I don't see any holes through it. Or maybe we hit it there and there, and that's just like some kind of spalling or something. I don't know. Turn it around. There's not even a dimple there. I can't even feel jack. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Hmm. But I'll tell you what. Uh, I just happened to have my 338 Lapua out here because I was filming some 338 Lapua videos. So uh, that was a bust on the Mosin and the 303. Weak sauce rifles, I tell you what. But uh can't even go through level three plate. Mop, mop, mop. See what happens with that 338 Lapua and spend a $5 bill here. See if we can put a hole through it. Honestly, I think that thing's going to stop it. But let's set it up again and see what happens. 338 Lapua next. Turn the red dot on on the uh, 338 Lapua. Yep. Got a red dot on the 338, baby. And uh, got to be real careful with this one. Trigger is very touchy. But let's shoot that plate out there. See what happens. I believe we hit it. Sucker was shaking real hard. I sure hope we hit it. That gun it. Sniper rifles out here. <clears throat> Let's go take a look. Judging by the fact that it didn't like fly away and it shook a little bit, I'm thinking we might have put a hole in it because it didn't transfer as much energy to it. But let's see what happened. I hope we put a hole in it. That's what I was trying to do with the 338. But looking down front, you can see the kind of split on the top looking at the front of it <clears throat> I don't really know what happened there hit it somewhere about right there but coming out the back oh -ho, boys and girls that's a big old nasty hole the size of a 338 Lapua round so uh, there you go 
This level three stuff will stop a 303 British, a Mosin, but not a 338 Lapua. Ha ha! So, what did we learn today, boys and girls? Um, tell you what we learned. This is some pretty tough stuff. RTS level three. And what else did we learn? We learned that 303 British and Mosins are uh, weak sauce BB guns. And if you have one, you need to trade it in for a 338 Lapua because then you can do stuff like that. But hey, that was a really fun video. Uh, body armor, it's good stuff to have. I'd rather have some than not have some. You never know. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate everyone who helps us out. We appreciate you in a big, big way. Always appreciate it when you guys support those who support us. We'll see you guys on the next one. Check out all the links down below. Give us some ideas for future videos. We'll see you on the next one. Doo -doo.